All right, we're here in my outdoor worm bin, and this is the update of the rice experiment. And right away, we see some great worms right there. That is good. Now, this experiment took a little bit of a turn. Uh, the garden worm lady had made a comment, and she said, be careful, rice can get hot. So I ran out here and uh, checked on it. I put my thermometer right down the middle and I'm gonna do it right now. Let's see. Here it says 89. When I checked it on day five, it was 104. And then we'll check on the sides. Here it says 82, 82. And when I checked it on the sides, this was morning, it said 78. So I had 104 here and 78 there. So. I've of course, naturally, uh, worms are not going to want to live in that. And uh, they weren't. Right in here, there was no worms, and they were all on the outside. And I kind of dug under to feel, and underneath, it was cool to the touch. But, you know, right kind of where the rice was, it wasn't real cool. Or it was cool, but then right up here, it was hot. So I think all the food, whatever I'd put in there, the heat was just rising and rising and I have these flaps folded in and then I have a uh, like a little white basin on top and that was just kind of trapping the heat. Um, so thank you very much, Garden and Worm, uh, Worms Lady, because uh, you kind of saved the experiment. And what I did was I put these craft uh, ice cubes, boom, boom, right on top. And right before I did that, I kind of disturbed it a little bit and kind of separated the heat left the flaps open a little bit, and then I put those those ice uh, balls on here. Um, and then I checked later in the afternoon and it was much cooler. Um, but then I, the next morning, it was a little warm and I put uh, those ice balls on there. And then it was like, what you, what you see here. So again, I'll put, a, I'll put her link for her channel in the description. She's been so helpful, I must say. Um, but let's look at that rice um, and see how they've done with it. I think I'm seeing little sections of it. Um, like this feels, okay, so there's some of the um, bedding, but right here is pieces of that rice. I don't know if you can see that, but a lot of mold around it and then a little bit there. Now these feel a little warm to the touch. In fact, let's throw the thermometer in there and see what we get. Okay, that, I saw 90 for a second there, 89, 90.7. So I think what needs to, ooh, 91. So I think what needs to happen is I probably need to break these up a little bit. Um, yeah, it's feeling warm. So, you know, I when I put it in, and you can check that other video, it had, uh, I spread it out like that. And maybe I just kind of should have put it in a lump um, or something. If you have any suggestions for how you put your rice in. The other thing is I think I put a lot in here. So, you know, so day five was when I found the heat and they had pretty much no chance to eat the food in the middle here. Um, so we're finding a lot of food. This is day seven. We're on day seven since that happened. Even here, here's some of the apple from two feedings ago. So, or maybe not. So I'm probably not gonna feed all that much because again this is still the rice experiment we're seeing it it molded um, it, it kind of is clumped hard together so we're gonna go we're gonna keep this rice experiment going and see how it does and there we go so I'm gonna take the stuff from the inside oh and it's it's very cool to the touch this is this is way cool to the touch I think some of it's getting outside. It's pretty warm outside. Um, that says 85. I'd rather see this in the 70s, but I guess from my hand being in the warm and then feeling the outside here again, more, more rice, more chunks of rice. So we may, we may skip a feeding just to try and let them get through this. I don't know. I'll, I'll decide as I go. But let's update those mango seeds. So here was the one that I thought was. From our original one and it's not this is kind of an old one but here is the one that we've been updating it's 46 days last time Ooh, inside there there are worms for sure right in there little ones and those mites again so 
because the seed has been penetrated, critters are able to get in there. So I'll put the day, uh, how long it's been since we put this in there, but this is gonna be a fun little experiment too to see how long it takes to get that down to nothing. Again, of course, really good thick worms. And I'm gonna do a time lapse at the end with some of the worms that we pulled out. Um, not finding any worm balls again because they didn't really have a opportunity to eat. Really, they only had two days to take care of that feeding because it was so hot and they weren't gonna go there. And in a bin this size, um, it's no problem having, you know, things get hot. You don't want it to happen, but it happens because they have pr plenty of opportunity to, you know, wiggle over here to either of the sides and stay cool. Like down here, it feels really cool. So plenty of opportunity for the worms to get away. So it's not like I'm cooking them or anything. Yeah, here's a cherry seed that we keep finding. It's, it, to tell you the truth, it just, it's hard as a rock. So it's probably, nothing's probably gonna happen with that. But, you know, all kinds of, every handful, multiple red wigglers. This is great. This is really good. Pine cone. <laughs> I can't believe this pine cone. You can barely tell it's a pine cone. But it is, the worms are just getting to it. It's, I don't know. It's, it's amazing. Worms are amazing. All right, let's 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 just keep digging. Aerate this. This will be good. It'll spread the rice around. I have a little sticker. I'll get that off. Oh, I'll get it off now. From an avocado. Um, yeah, this is, this is, this is such a good bin. I can do so many different experiments in here and no worries, no worries at all. The worms just, if they don't like it, they go to some other place in this bin. So, all right. So here's normally where I would do a feeding. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit of a feeding, just, just a little bit. We'll put our normal, in fact, I'm gonna take one of these toilet paper rolls, put it in here for bedding. And then we'll just do our, we're not gonna go crazy because I saw a lot of stuff in there, but we'll just give them a little bit of something. Some carrots that I grew and just a little bit. This is kind of fast stuff. This fast stuff, it'll go fast. And then the big chunk of carrots will go slow. Again, I don't, I don't want to try and heat it up again. So I'll just give them some big stuff. A couple more carrots, some whole carrots like that. And these are, <laughs> these are nasty, mushy carrots. I'm not putting food I would eat in here. All right, and we'll just do, I'm just gonna do a little bit of coffee. And I did a little bit of coffee last time, but it still ended up heating like that. And I think it was the food and, and the rice, um, just the way I put the rice in. So we'll put a little bit of grit, and then we are going to cover this up and do our time lapse. Um, if you like with your, what you're seeing and you want to follow along, you can subscribe. I've got three playlists, one for each of my um, worm bins. And you hit the bell, you'll know when I do a new video, but that's a good place to kind of track them from start to finish castings. So I think we're in good shape here. And this should be a fun little time lapse for us to watch. All right, they're in here, and here we go. All right, looks like we got one guy that doesn't quite know that he's not in. There we go, and we'll, we'll give him a little cover up too. All right, so that does it for this update and tiny feeding of my outdoor warm bin. I hope everybody's having a great day and happy vermicomposting, everybody. Take care now.